Nick Dearbertis here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be solving the lab exercise on adding scenario analysis to the Project One Python model. So this is the lab exercise which is at the end of the scenario modeling material and here we're looking at uh, setting up cases for a bad normal and good economy um, and looking at changing the initial demand and price per phone in each of those cases. Um, and going through the whole external scenario analysis process, so looking at the NPV in each of those cases, and also looking at the expected NPV if we assign some probabilities to those cases. So let's go ahead and jump over to the uh, Project 1 model. And in my Project 1 model, I have a model NPV function, which is able to get me the NPV from the model data. Um, so what we want to do is we want to set up first the, um, inputs for the bad and good economy. We can assume that the baseline inputs, the ones here with the model data, we can assume that these hold for, uh, the normal economy case. So we just set up the bad and good economy cases. Uh, so bad economy data, uh, create a new instance of model inputs. Um, and we want to change the um, demand and price per phone. So for the demand, that would be D1. Uh, the original value here is 100,000. Um, let's go for uh, 50,000 instead. And then the other um, input that we want to change is the price per phone. Um, so that's price phone here, normally 500. Uh, let's say that it's only going to be able to be 350 in the bad economy. Um, so then we can set up the good economy data model inputs. Um, here, D1 can equal 200,000. And the price per phone can equal 700. Uh, and then we can set up our dictionary of the cases, bad economy, bad economy data, normal economy, uh, that's just going to be the regular model data and the good economy. That's going to be the good economy data. Um, so then we have all those things in the dictionary there. Um, then we want to loop through that dictionary for case type, case inputs in cases.items. Uh, we're going to calculate the MPV as uh, what's the name of my function? Model MPV. Model MPV on the case inputs. And then I can print the result um, that um, in a case type economy, the MPV is MPV. And I want to format that with the dollar sign before it. I want zero decimal places. I want commas in there and fix that zero number of decimal places. Um, and then, oh, I randomly got an L up here. Can't have that. Um, there, now in a bad economy, we have 73 million MPV, normal economy, 369 million, good economy, uh, 1.1 billion. So that definitely tells you that the results of this model are very sensitive to the economic conditions. And then if we assign some probabilities to these cases, uh, again, we want to use the same um, keys as the um, Dictionary of the cases, just this time with probabilities. Let's say we think a recession coming up is pretty likely, 0.5, normal is 0.3, uh, and the good is 0.2. Then we can set up our expected MPV running total variable. Again, uh, we can copy the beginning of this loop um, for getting the MPV for each case. Uh, then we can calculate the weighted MPV as the MPV times uh, the probability uh, for that case type. 
and then we can add uh, that uh, weighted MPV onto the expected MPV. Um, and then finally print out a sentence um, which is corresponding to that. Um, the, uh, the project would uh, earn an expected MPV of M uh, expected MPV uh, again with a dollar sign before it. Uh, we want commas. We want zero decimal places uh, with a uh, uh, chance with a reception chance of probabilities. Uh, again, going to use the mismatched quotes here of probabilities bad. And oh, still got to be in the string. And an expansion chance of probabilities uh, good. So I run that. Um, I do want to format those as well zero decimal percentage uh, over here also zero decimal percentage and there we have the 370 million expected mpv with a 50 percent chance of recession and an expansionary chance of 20 percent and we would just want to uh, break this print statement on the multiple lines because it's really long um, Make sure you, you get all your quotes set up um, correctly with that. Um, and there we go. Now we have all the results from the scenario analysis. We have the uh, outcome in each scenario, and we also have the expected outcome based on the probabilities of the scenarios. Uh, so that would be the... Um, Python um, solution for uh, extending the Project One model with scenario analysis. So thanks for listening and see you next time.